All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Shack. It's been a while since I've done a political thing because, to be honest with you, I'm disgusted where we are in this, in this country. Uh, first of all, this jackass up there in Washington has lost control of everything in the entire free world. Now, uh, he's announcing that he's going to uh, nominate this guy named Gettelbach uh, to uh, the uh, ATF, director of ATF, right? Well, the funny part about this whole thing with Gettelbach is that he was a district attorney, uh, and a U.S. district attorney. And also, if you didn't read up on this guy, he was uh, Obama's roommate in Harvard, which is funny to me. Again, here comes a jackass. He nominates people who are not qualified for the position, but basically uh, who he's friends with and everything else. And that's the, the corrupt BS that we end up with this country with the bullshit, this stuff at the border, out of control. Uh, what's going on in Ukraine? <laughs> out of control. What's going on in our country? Out of control. What's going on with uh, the bullshit all around with this jackass and nominating people for the color of their skin versus, you know what, with this uh, Jackson lady, I would have been fine if he just nominated somebody, but he had to make it about the color of skin, which was really disgusting in my book. It's it just it, unreal. So anyway, uh, I've been saying all these things about uh, David Hogg and all the other stuff. Uh, uh, Oh, Obama, Obama, Biden is getting ready to announce this big, huge thing on gun control. Oh, by the way, uh, yes, I finished up the four builds with exception of the trigger system and the butt stocks, and those are coming in on Thursday, which I'll be doing a full review. We're going to go be doing shooting the following week with those guys, so it should be a lot of fun. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's talk, talk about this thing. Uh, yeah, he's going to be making a huge announcement tomorrow. A phenomenal amount. Uh, oh, my God. It's going to be incredible. This huge announcement that he's going to be doing with the help of David Hogg and all the other BS people know absolutely nothing about firearms, with exception to the fact that they uh, have the highest crime rates in all the blue cities. Blue cities or whatever. The liberal-run cities. Let's talk Biden expected. This is by CNN Politics. I'm going to just read it straight from here. This kind of shit just fires me up. Biden expected to announce a new gun regulation. Eyes on new ATF nominee. All right, so President Biden, huge, huge announcement. Expected to announce new firearm regulations as soon as Monday meant to contain the use of privately made weapons. People familiar with the matter said as he comes under pressure to take more steps to address gun violence. You know how you address gun violence? Put the fuckers in jail, okay? Quit with the bullshit of going after people who legally own firearms. That's the whole thing. No one should be allowed to own a firearm as long as he has, these assholes are concerned. Chaps my rear end. Uh, <laughs> the regulation of so-called Gus guns, unregulated, untraceable weapons made from kits with classified components used to make these them like frames or receivers as firearms, addressing a critical gap in the government's ability to track them. Hmm. Again, now we're going to go back to an ATF nominee who knows nothing about firearm industry. <laughs> Biden is also expected to name Steve Dettelbach, a former U.S. attorney from Ohio, as his nominee to lead the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives as soon as Monday. Nominate the jackass, dude. <sighs> Why don't you put somebody uh, in charge at ATF who knows a little bit about the industry, not somebody who's anti-gun or worked for an anti-gun lobby, but just somebody with good sense. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, putting pressure on the White House to take action. Biden was expected to address new steps on guns in a public event Monday afternoon, according to the people who have received invitations. David Hogg. Uh, the White House declined to comment on the new steps, which is going to be an interference on your rights as a human being in this country. Dillabach did not respond to the request for comment. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, need I say more, <laughs> again decried the use of ghost guns during the press conference. Um, Somebody down below, put down below what the percentage of ghost guns are used to, in, an, uh, in the effort to commit a crime. Does that make sense? The New York Democrat on Sunday blamed Republicans for holding up gun reform legislation. No, they're not uh, holding up gun reform legislation. At least some people are out there to try to protect our Second Amendment rights. You jack son of a... Today I'm calling on the administration to go after all ghost guns by putting out... And let's be honest, man. Uh, we knew it was just a matter of time before the ghost guns were going to come under attack. Uh, it's just like the damn uh, short reset triggers. As far as I know, I heard it from a little bird that, uh, yes, they did go after individual purchasers' information, but the company told them to go beat sand without a warrant. 
uh, following the 2021 directive, and I'll get more information on that tomorrow. Biden administrated the ATF proposed a rule in May last year to allow the Bureau to classify the building of blocks that often made up of ghost guns as firearms. Well, here's my concern. They're not only going to go after ghost guns. They're going to go. They're going to go after parts, uh, parts, upper upper receiver parts, anything and everything that they can, because they're going to classify those as ghost gun parts. And with the build series that we just finished up on, that's what I feel like they're going to be doing. The rule would also require manufacturers who sell parts to assemble ghost guns to be licensed and run background checks on potential purchasers of the kits used to assemble the products, kits. Anything and everything out there, okay? Uh, and they're not so far saying that, uh, say, for instance, if you have an upper receiver from Palmetto State Army or Primary Arms or Optics Planet or anybody else out there, they're going to uh, make those a licensed part, but they want to. Uh, the Justice Department has also launched a National Ghost Gun Enforcement Initiative, which will train a national cadre of prosecutors. Mm. Hold on one second. Getting all geared up, man. Ghost guns have been used in multiple recent shootings, including a Maryland high school in January. Exact number of circulation is unknowable. How are you going to figure that out? Multiple states have moved to restrict. Maryland, Washington, D.C. Ten other states, California, Connecticut, Delaware, Hawaii, Nevada, New Jersey, New York, Rhode Island, Virginia, and Washington. At the point in time when Maryland, uh, Virginia did this, of course, their governor was a freaking Democrat. In September, Biden withdrew his nomination to David Chipman. We all know why. And Chipman, a former career official at the ATF, came under scrutiny uh, from pro-rights gun... Oh, I love this. National Rifle Association for his work as senior advisor. Every town for gun safety in Giffords. The or <laughs> organization... Anyway, let's long story short, guys. Tomorrow, huge announcement. Oh, my God. I could give a shit. I'm going to continue doing what we're doing, having fun, building crap and going out and showing you guys how much fun it is. With that being said, uh, we always end them like this. Let me know what your thoughts are down below about this situation. Big, huge announcement, Biden and gun control. <laughs> no shit, right? God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. If freedom is not free, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And uh, I'm out of here. Boom. Y'all be good. Mm.